All right, so major plot twist, everybody. Walmart just gave in. And bro, like, first of all, before we engage and before we go deep into this B, I gotta be real. This is a major low for mankind. How have we gotten to this point where low IQ politicians are blaming video games and all of a sudden Walmart is like, you know what? I'm just gonna give in. And bro, this is a major low. And as Fred from Scooby-Doo once said, we have a mystery on our hands. And speaking of that major plot twist, this is Walmart who says that on the school year, like a hero. On the other hand, I would have to blur certain images out, but you will be able to make it out. Buy this and get a free, and you must have a valid school ID because that is important. Give it up for Walmart, everybody, and smash that like button for some big brains over at Walmart. Now we're hearing news like this, and uh, we also have photographic evidence. We got video proof as well i want to show you all that and the, the the thing is that a lot of people who are outside of america i'm personally in canada let me know in the comments below where you're from but a lot of people who are outside of america kind of are believing that let's say okay hypothetically hopefully not hypothetically video games are banned in america or call of duty for example is banned or like watered down the the thing is that the majority of the video game publishers and these uh activations and e that we love the majority of the game development studios are in america so they had to follow american laws and whatnot and let's say you know i i mean low iq politicians are engaging even the president commented on that and said immediately like we have to take actions immediately but i honestly think they are doing that on purpose but let's say video games law changes in america obviously the gaming publishers and the companies would have to cater to american laws and therefore it's gonna be a worldwide phenomenon because game developers are not gonna be making like two three million different type of versions of their video games right they're not gonna be catering to the world laws or your country laws specifically so the whole world in fact will get disneyfied and bro like i'm i'm saying man somebody okay somebody do something okay be vocal in a civil way though but this is what we're hearing walmart removed not so happy video games still selling weapons and i personally am in canada and i didn't know that america sells like real weapons in in uh, walmart bro that's crazy to me obviously i know that you guys who live in america some of you would be pro some of you would be against and you know what i'm not even gonna get my schlongs involved I'm not gonna comment and whatnot but Bro, like, to a non-American, I'm a non-American, so it, it sounds crazy to me that you can go in Walmart, and now they are, like, removing these video games, and they're like, you know what, let's keep the weapons on the shelves, let's, you know what, a uh, homie is coming to Walmart to shop, and he wanna buy a video game, you know what, let's make sure that he doesn't buy a video game, but, you know what, let's put these weapons in front of him, because, obviously, weapons... They're not bad. Video games bad, weapons good, basically, is what this tells me. And this is crazy, bro. I mean, who's gonna walk into Walmart, be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna see video games and you know what? Uh, oh, oh, I forgot my AK in my home. Let me go and take that and let's go back into Walmart. Let's get right into the business. Who is gonna do that, bro? Like, are, are you out of your mind? I think that they are doing this purposely because the it says the following. The retailer is asking employees to take down signage and playable demos for not so happy video games as well as hunting videos in the wake of uh, the recent events we're hearing that this week walmart sent employees a notice titled immediate actions and in fact we have a photo of that i'm gonna show you that remove signing and displays referencing not so happy things and i quote freelance writer kenneth shepherd posted an image of the notice on twitter and other copies have circulated on reddit review your store for any signing or displays that contains not so happy images images or aggressive behavior the notice reads remove from the sales floor or turn off these items immediately and it also says that the notice instructs workers to remove demos of not so happy games specifically playstation and xbox units events for combat style or third person fps type games i, I cannot say certain words here on youtube i apologize for that scheduled in the electronics department movies depicting not so happy thing and hunting season videos 
playing in the sporting goods section. It also noted that merchandisers from Anderson Merchandisers, uh, a service provider for Walmart, will send out representatives to update display consoles and demos units within the next week. Bro, this sounds like a horror story to me. This sounds like an urban legend, in fact, but it's actually going down. And we got homies like Brooklyn Dad underscore defined he's getting a lot of traction on twitter and rightfully so we're gonna drop a like on that in fact and i quote i'll be buying back to school supplies for my kids soon but those don't include bulletproof backpacks weapons or clips the decision by walmart to pull not so happy video games but not g's from shelves misses the point of g violence entirely hello target hashtag boycott walmart and bro somebody give this man a benji Somebody give this man a Benjamin and uh, this is basically going on. We got Keemstar engaging and we got a ton of memes and all that. But uh, this is the image that I want to show you guys because it actually comes from Kenneth and it's a real image. Apparently Walmart is telling its employees to take down displays that shows not so happy video games, specifically the FPS genre like Call of Duty, G uh, even GTA, like third person, you know what I mean, as well as movies and hunting videos. So uh, yeah, this is going going not only for the games but for movies but i'm not sure how bad it will be for movies though i think that they will still keep uh, certain uh, movies there uh like disney movies for example but i mean like bro what like who is gonna walk into walmart and do that like bro are you out of your mind walmart bro like i think that they are giving in and this is purposely done or something like that and you can see that this is the image you can pause and read it if you want to but it says what i need to do turn off or unplug any video game display consoles that shows a demo of not so happy things and you can see verify that no movies depicting uh basically they're trying to turn walmart into disneyland and a happy land where you can go around and see uh all them uh, rainbows in the skies of walmart even though there are no skies but they they're trying to do that right and we have an actual video to watch ladies and gentlemen and we're gonna be watching that in a sec but to me it actually sounds crazy crazy that walmart actually sells real weapons in its store and you know like here in canada like i believe we have airsofts i know if you're an american you're like skizzle airsofts go pound sand i can go to walmart and get a real weapon get on my level son uh but honestly bro like to me it sounds crazy that walmart an actual walmart Amer in america can sell a real weapon that that's crazy to me i thought that you would have to go to maybe you know a local special weapon store to buy anything like that you probably would have to show them your license like they would have to check your background whatnot all that you know what i mean right but it looks like that you can go in walmart and buy it bro that's crazy to me and they're out there trying to ban video games right and we have this video to watch i know it's not in hd but it will turn hd in a sec and it will definitely get the point across Art is going to be uh taking down some of the promotions they have had four video games and movies they say it's out of respect for the two tragedies there have been critics who are saying that walmart isn't going far enough and that uh one they're still selling the video games but even if you go by the argument that video games are a problem the bigger problem isn't the video games it's the with the actual bullets that people and walmart is a major seller of ammunition and arms and they aren't taking as aggressive a stand as dick sporting goods for example which you know has been really out there up front in getting rid of gun sales because of these mass that sadly just continue to keep happening in america somebody give this man a benji so yeah big brains over at walmart decided to do that and i'm really really seeing this go out of hands and i'm hoping that it doesn't go out of hands but i know that it is going and this is like small steps like you know, you know baby steps like first they're gonna you know remove these video games from walmart then it's gonna go hopefully not bro hopefully i'm not able to predict the future but man when the presidents say like we need immediate action on video games that's crazy man like if you're in america definitely voice your opinions and all that i know that homies i believe in europe voiced their opinion about like article 13 and they were like they were against it like pretty much everyone was against it and they passed it and i'm not sure what's gonna happen with article 13 heard that they're gonna be changing the law and implementing it like in a year or two years time i heard something like that i could be wrong but my point being that people were against it and they still passed that law you know what that's 
getting your schlong involved and putting your schlong in fact when the homie don't want that schlong in there are words to describe it but we're, we're here on youtube so i cannot say certain words there on youtube guys but i'm really hoping that you guys in america can voice your opinion because if this becomes a new law where yo you cannot sell uh, these uh, not so happy video games and developers cannot make or put out these type of video games this is gonna be real sad and they don't want to tighten up their g laws but rather just ban video games bro this is a yikes but let me know your thoughts in the comments below like and subscribe check out some other video games videos and i will see you in another video game video